Okay, here we go. But what I was saying is Aureo has a lot of codecs. You just need to go and find it all. It's like every single placard has a codex. So, uh, right here, each of these lions has a codex. First lion of Orle. And see, there's a placard here. Grace of the Empire North. So the, apparently, this is the north side. There it is. Second line, Lion of Orle. So, uh, standard placard of donated in the name of yada yada. There you go. Race of the West. Good people of Val Royo, hear me. Together we mourn our divine. A naive and beautiful heart silenced by treachery. Really? Naive? You're you're gonna go ahead and backhandedly compliment her in this? It's really gonna get you a lot of friends, isn't it? Behold, the so called Herald of Andraste claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say this is a false prophet, a wicked Konari sent to subvert. The Maker's Word. So, let's see. What options do we have? Let us talk peacefully. Stop this now. We have a real enemy, or I never claim to be. I like this one. Stop this now. Enough! I will not listen to these self-serving lies. We came here to talk. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition and the people will be safe once more. Uh -huh. Still yourself. She is beneath us. Was that display supposed to impress me? On the contrary, it wasn't for you at all. Lord Seeker Lucius, it's imperative that we speak with... You will not address me. Lord Seeker? Creating a heretical movement. Raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet, you should be ashamed. You should all I like be playing ashamed. as both a Kunari and the a Templars dwarf, mostly because it changes the eye level. <laughs> it's kind of fun to change the camera eye level. You are the ones who have failed. Like, uh, if you're a dwarf, you and looking there, you're looking up at him. As a Kunari, I'm 
you clearly saw that I'm looking down towards him because I'm so much taller than he is. The only destiny here that demands respect is mine. So that one. If you're not here to help the chantry, then you just came to make speeches. I came to see what frightens old women so, and to laugh. But Lord Seeker, what if he really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. I will make the Templar Order a power that stands alone against the Void. We deserve recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing. And the Inquisition, less than nothing. Templars, Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. Charming fellow, isn't he? Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? Do you know him very well? He took over the Seekers of Truth two years ago. After Lord Seeker Lambert's death, he was always a decent man, never given to ambition and grandstanding. This is very bizarre. Fortunately, the Templars aren't our only hope. I wouldn't write them off so quickly. There must be those in the Order who see what he's become. Either way, we should first return to Haven and inform the others. So yes. Now before we go anywhere, we need to talk to Bell. The Inquisition's going to fix the hole in the sky. We're going to give it a try at least. No one is doing anything. The chantry is useless and the Templars. Andraste, I never thought they'd abandon us. Listen, your camp will need food. I have contacts. We'll have deliveries there in days. You want to help the Inquisition? Never been part of something this big before, but if your Inquisition's going to seal the sky, I want to help. What do you think, Cassandra? Okay, Toby. Thanks for stopping by. Sorry, you didn't get to see all that much. The Herald of Andraste. Yes, I understand. Haven is a mess, but we won't turn away anyone willing to help. Invite her, if it pleases. If it pleases me, shut up. To Haven, then. We need good people. I don't know if I'm that, but it will be nice to see. Thank you. So yes, if you do not do this now, you never will get the opportunity. She'll still show up at the keep, but she won't be an agent. And agents are very, very helpful in uh, getting stuff done on the war table. Oh yeah, it's very easy to forget about her, but because she just looks like another merchant. But she can join the Inquisition, so if you forget to talk to her, you end up not being able to unlock it. What's that? An arrow with a message? Arrow with a message. Favors for the f for friends. From the friends of Red Jenny. The Templars didn't even touch you. My maker, no my heart. Take from me a life of sorrow. Comfort is only yours to give. Oh so tall. Where is the comfort? Have you come to scavenge now that the divine lies cold? 
Whisper your kiln against the charm. Leave me. My emptiness will not be borne by you. Maker, show me the light. I believe that messenger is trying to get our attention. All right, this messenger here. You are the herald of Andraste, are you not? I have an invitation for you. So, Vivian de Fer. First enchanter. Enchanter to the Imperial Court. Ooh, Codex. Not of heroes, united in hatred. Nice. I would read this to you, but how many people want to just hear me read? Anyway, where was I? Oh yes, I was getting all of the codex here in these placards. So here we are. Third lion, in respect to Duke Yvonne of Savarine. I think that's how you say it. I try to make it. I try to say it French-like. Not that I know French, but I try to say it French-like because Orlais is very French. If we had to compare it to the world we live in. Stefan of yeah, and Grace the Empire East. So that should be all the codex here on this tower. And if you ever miss, if you ever forget any codex, just about any in any mission that you go to, which can be very, very easy with some of these missions being very short and straightforward, just come on over here into this building here. And as you move forward in the game, there is a little bookstore right here in this corner. And in this bookstore, you can buy potion recipes. You can buy those codex entries that you missed. I think it's like 17 silver or something like that. Or 17 coins. Per uh, codex entry. Really? You don't have any other longbow grips? Oh well. Hey, Peaches! How's it going? We're playing on Nightmare as a Canary. So far, it's going alright. I don't want any of those. So yeah, that is always a good place to stop. No, it's been longer than that, Peaches. It has, but Twitch has crashed a couple times so far. Let's see, how far back can I go in my chat? How far, oh. It only, my chat only goes back to 11. No, no, it's not that I was having problems getting started it's like I'd go for an hour and then it would die and then I'd go for an hour and then it would die so we'll see how long this this particular up up time lasts so adding to favors for favors for friends more not of heroes Mafriath and sacrifice so for those that don't know Mafriath was, was the husband of Andraste Long story short, he's the reason that she's dead. And then I think he killed himself. And 
head of Madame Snippy Sn Snappy Snips. Oh, it is a dragon. It is a dragon head that has been posted. Oh, thank you, Peaches. Thank you for the host. We maintain an Inquisition presence on Commander Cullen's orders. This has been received as you might expect. And I'm not sure why the subtitles didn't take. Oh well. The Mask de Leon. I think it means like the Mask of the Lion or something like that. I don't know. I don't speak French. I just know, like, enough of the sounds that I can, you know, sound stuff out. A little bit. Not a lot. Oh, all well, you... Yes, your prayers were totally safe. save you. Oh, yeah. Twitter has crashed a number of times. Not Twitter, but... Nope, nope. I am currently... It, my dashboard says I'm live. The app says I'm live, live, but I don't always believe that. Because there have been times where the app says I'm live, and then I look at the dashboard and there's nothing there. So I don't know what to tell you, Peaches. Sell junk. Now this, I mean, he's got these very low-level belts. They're decent belts and rings and all that, but they're very, very low-level. And then, of course, very valuables. All things that really, there's no point in buying them, because when they're dropped, all you can do is sell them anyway. It's not like you can say, oh, I want to decorate my house with these. Okay. Difficult time for those who have lost. Another good little codex piece here. Talks about uh, the posters and the little mural on the walls. Hey, look. It's a red herring. Mm, reservoir stocking evaluation. Tremors floating. Taste is off. Water birds die off. Restocking failed. Fish not fit. Do not consume. So don't eat those fish. They will kill you. Now there's another codex back here. That's a little tricky to get to. The Randy Dowager Quarterly. If I remember correctly, Dowager is a term for an old woman. Memoir de la Mer reveals folly? Or reveals folly? Or something like that? I don't know. I'm trying to say things French like, but I really don't know French, so. Maybe I should stop. I won't. Like I said, maybe I should, but I probably won't. This is the part that's annoying. Eh, whatever. Let's travel. Let's travel here. Oh, baguette? Baguette? I don't know. Sure, I, if I actually spoke to a French person, they'd say, No, that is not how you pronounce that word. Or some such. Here we go. A friend of Red Jenny has been activated. 
Actually, no. I'm gonna walk around up here, because I never do. There has to be more codex around here. Yep, see? Codex. More Knot of Heroes, Division and Distance. More Codex. Another Randy Dowager Quarterly. I'm both tempted and scared to read those, to be honest. I mean, after all, they're, they're stories for Randy Dowagers, which... I don't know. Some of those, some of those fantasies might be a little much, you know? Alright, fast travel... Yeah, need to fast travel. Fast travel here. Oh, I'm sure they are exciting. In their own way. That being said, I don't need... Pillars of her everlasting flame. Ah, the pillars of her everlasting flame ignited. 530 exalted, capped. 562 exalted. Forgive them their petty nature, for the soot of your eternal flames blacken their silks. The fuck. Doesn't look like there's any soot up there. The hell. I feel like that plaque's lying to me. I really do. Tell you what, Peaches, the, ne the next one I will give you a dr dramatic reading. The Waiting Alcove. The pla a plaque reads, Forever empty in anticipation of artistic endeavor worthy of the envy and insidious jealousy of the capital and her glorious emperor. emperor. 848, blessed. Scratch below the inscription. Mad shit. Empty as his head. I feel like there should be a codex here. But there isn't. I mean, really, just look at that statue. It's a rather impressive statue. There should be a codex. Just throwing it out there. Let's see. Do -do -do. Sister Andrea. Ah, oh, the Herald of Andraste. Is there something I might help you with? No. Thank you, sister. Make her go with huh. I feel like there's something I'm supposed to be able to give her or some such. But I don't know, because I don't normally go walking around up here. Oh, come on. I didn't die. What are you doing, Peaches? My character is not dead. Not right now, anyway. Actually, my character has only died twice on Nightmare. Thank you. I know there's a lot of game left, but it, it's twice. Damn it. <laughs> hey look, another codex. What do we got? Oh, here we go. Another Randy Dowager Quarterly. An extra thick annual edition, annual edition of the Suspect Quarterly. The Randy Dowager welcomes the new year by scandalizing the old with the collected romantic epic, The Horned Ones. Being a tale of conquest, both of nation and heart, demands are satisfied as bronze giants share their explosive passions. Sounds like something Kaylee would enjoy. Nothing against Kaylee, but it just sounds like she would en It sounds like you've got... Well, actually, no, it's hard to, t it's hard to say. Because it sounds like... It's definitely a Kunari story. But is it two male Kunari? Is it a male and a female Kunari? It doesn't really tell you, does it? Is it a Kunari and something else? Who knows? Uh, the Randy Dowager exhibitions for the noble th of thought, but spry of step. 
The lady herself says, only for those of particular taste, delicate buds should remain in the garden while the bold of us flower. Five scarves fluttered in shock out of five. Well, that's a strange rating system, I guess. Oh, you wanted to see the message, okay. No worries. Now this little shop has one thing to sell. That is it. The mystery box. It is so mysterious. This mystery box. So this mystery box right here, you can buy it. I have no idea what it does. All I know, I know what you get. I don't know what it actually does, though. There is a golden nook in that box. Like I said, I don't know if it actually does anything, but it's a golden nug. So, let's see, any more codex over here? Yes, there is. There's one over here. Right next to this guy. Lodging, longing, and the upper court. A torn page from an unsigned diary. My weakness bids me, not by chance, to gaze upon the upper court, where shadows of our final dance and wishes of my heart consort. That's actually very poetic, isn't it? I think I missed, might have missed something over here. Yeah, I didn't go down these... Oh yes, I did go down those steps, okay. No, I didn't go down... What I didn't do was go down these steps. Mystery and meaning of eight silks. Yeah, I mean, mortals, the only thing I know that gold nug helps with is multiplayer. And that's because every so often a golden nug will spawn and you get extra gold by killing it and looting the body. That's it. That's all I know about the golden nug. In fact, I've only bought that thing once because it's so expensive. And ever since I got in the Black Emporium, I haven't even bothered, just because, I mean, it's not... If I'm going to spend that kind of money, I want to spend it on stuff that I can actually... I know I can use. Like, uh, schematics at the Black Emporium. Mystery and meaning of eight silks. Eight silk drape. Oh, this looks like a long one. Okay, now did I go this way? Uh, yes, I did. I did go this way. Because that's the thing that lied to me. Well, maybe not lied, but definitely I looked at the pillar and it didn't look like there was any ash on it. Um. Yeah. So, come on back down. More of those areas will open up later, and there will be even more codex. I mean, this place is just filled with codex. It's a little ridiculous how much codex there is here. For a place with only markets, it's amazing how much codex is available. <laughs> if I might have a moment of your time... Grand Enchanter Fiona? Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering, and I wanted to see the fabled world of Andraste with my own eyes. 
If it's help with the breach you seek, perhaps my Why do you guys keep calling me that? I'm not the fucking Herald of Andraste. Come on. What do you want in exchange for the mage's help? Oh, I haven't promised the Inquisition our help yet. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Come, meet with the mages. An alliance could help us both, after all. I hope to see you there. Au revoir, my lord herald. Come, let us return to Haven. Okay, I'm still not sure which way I'm going to go. Whether I'm going to pick uh, mages or templars. But, fun fact about that. Oh yeah, this this armor is a part of the uh, extra, the uh, the appearance and schematics pack, uh, demands of the Kune or something like spoils of the Kune or something like that. So yes, it is a Canari armor. And currently, so this is the Canari heavy armor, and this is the Canari light armor. There is no medium armor. And uh, something I'm doing, it's going to make it a little bit more challenging, I think, but I'm only going to use Kunari arms and weapon weapons as much as I can. So, yes. They wish to protect the people? Return to Haven. Someone will need to inform them if we are delayed. As you say, my lady. No, but I want to go out and look over the water. Whatever. We will go to the Ghislaine estate and find Madame de Fer. I think so. I think there are Kunari bows. If not, I really wish I could just grab a... If I could grab a uh, spear and start throwing spears all over the place. That would be pretty nice. Master Adar of the Inquisition. Pleasure, sir. We so rarely have a chance to meet anyone new. It is always the same crowd at these parties. <laughs> so you must be a guest of Madame de Well, Fair. yeah, Canary is kind of spelled weird. Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. I'm not familiar with that name. I was invited here by First Enchanter Vivienne. Madame de Fer is a fond nickname the court has given Lady Vivienne. I've heard she finds it amusing. She finds everything amusing. What have you heard about me? Some say that when the veil opened, Andraste herself delivered you from the Fade. I've heard very little about you, Bastien. He hasn't been seen much at court lately. His business with the Council of Heralds often takes him from home for long periods. It can't be good for a man of his years. And of course, there's the civil war. Bastien probably wishes to distance himself. Now that is a serious ruffle. I mean, just look at that. You can't even see half of you can't the half of her face that isn't covered by a mask. You can't see because of the ruffles. I mean, that is just a ridiculous amount of ruffle. I don't care what they say about me. You should. The game has crushed far more powerful institutions than your Inquisition. The Inquisition. What a lot of pig shit. Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. Everyone knows it's just an excuse for a bunch of political outcasts to grab power. The 
The Inquisition is working to restore peace and order to Fadus. Here comes the outsider, restoring peace with an army. We know what your Inquisition truly is. If you were a man of honor, you'd step outside and answer the judges. My dear Martin, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. Oh shit. You know such rudeness is intolerable. I kinda see her wearing a little bit more of a ball gowny kind of option. For Vivienne. But whatever. Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? My lord, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? The Marquis doesn't interest me. Do whatever you like with him. Poor Marquis. Issuing challenges and hurling insults like some Pharrell's and Doglers. <coughs> and all dressed up in your Aunt Solange's doublet. Didn't she give you that to wear to the Grand Tourney? To think all the brave Chevaliers who will be competing left for Markham this morning. And you're still here. Were you hoping to sate your damaged pride by defeating the Herald of Andraste in a public duel? Or did you think his sword would end the shame of your failure? Run along, my dear. Do give my regards to your aunt. I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. She's trying to be like Kunari with that hell with that hat. Let me just look at it. Enchantress to the Imperial Court. You invited me here. What is it you want? I wanted to meet face to face. It is important to consider one's connections carefully. With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. As the leader of the last loyal mages of Fadus, I feel it only right. Oh yeah, exactly. It's got to be Horn Envy. To your cause. <laughs> Is your interest in the Inquisition, Madame de Fer, or is it more personal? <laughs> Aren't you charming? <laughs> it's professional, of course. Uh huh. <laughs> the Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivian. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that. It's got to be Horn Envy. That's why she wears that ridiculous hat. Where's he gonna drop me? He's probably gonna drop me at Haven. Yep, rares are blue, uniques are purple. Yellow is you crafted it. Yeah, I really wish the voices, I really wish there was something a little bit more gravelly, you know? Deeper and a little bit more of a gravel to it. Hell, if I could voice him myself, I would do it. I would do it every single time. And it would be great. <laughs> but unfortunately, yeah, the, I, the, the voices, the two voices are just, eh, you know? Yeah, here, I'm going to... I'm gonna travel uh, here to the Black Emporium. No, I don't need people to go with me to the Black Emporium. It is a store. And even if I do bring people, they don't show up. So, I mean, come on. Yeah, well, it really didn't change much from uh, Dragon Age 2, to be honest. 
But welcome to the Black Emporium. It's a little bit better lit. It's a little bit more organized. It's a little bit more random stuff. <laughs> But here we are. It really has not changed all that much from Dragon Age 2. Her ancestor visited the Emporium in the Blessed Age. Oh. I felt her a candle mounted with the severed hand of a first acolyte of Razakiel. Yeah, so this is a quick little c codex about the uh, proprietor. Basically, this guy in a chair, who appears to be dead. Very, very dead. There's a lot about the Black Emporium that nobody I really wonder, understands. Do the Montilliers still have it in their possession? I should like to see it again. So yeah, let's go s Mirror of Transformation. Allows you to change. So, my current face. I should be able to change my voice, but. I just hope I can help. You leave me no choice! How much is this going to cost me exactly? Everything you've heard? Completely true. Yeah, that one's better of the two. I just hope I can help. I just hope I can help. As long as the job gets done, I don't care about the rest. Nah. So I'm not going to change anything else. I'm actually very happy with the way this canary is. I mean, look up. He's he's been. Except changes, which I really didn't change anything other than the voice. Where's my back scratcher? So here are schematics of legend. And look at this. I mean just look at that. So expensive, but you know it's gonna be an awesome piece of equipment. Just like this, Perseverance. I mean, you know it's going to be amazing. It's just very, very expensive to get. Same with, like, Axe of the Dragon Hunter and all of these. And then here are crafting materials. So you can buy just about everything. Every, everything that's not... Like a super rare, which is like dragon bones. You can buy here in this crafting materials section. And then here are some standard schematics. So this will gather together every schematic in every store in the game in one place. Which generally makes it easier to find ones that you're looking for. So as you can see... All of them. And then same with the armor. Not that I want any of these. So, this is the Black Emporium. It's a little bit brighter than it was in Dragon Age 2, but it's got just as many curiosities. It's got just as many just random things hanging out. It no longer has the gole golem or the uh, urchin, but otherwise, it's the same. Now what we're going to do... I'm going to go back to Haven. Actually, no. No, we're not. We're going to go over here. Take care of Friends of Regeni.
So here we go. Here we go. Let's go see this friend of Red Jenny, whoever that is. I may feel people feel uncomfortable with how giant and ox-like I am. So now let's give Vivian some abilities. First and foremost, Barrier. Max out both of those. Now... Yeah, give her threat reduction. Actually, no, she doesn't really need threat reduction. So there we go. That should maybe keep her alive. Well, they know who I work for at least. See, there's one, 